and welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today I'm going to try an experiment and we are going to tie-dye a black shirt using bleach. Uh, this morning I was cleaning and you can kind of see I got a little bleach spot on a, my brand new black shirt. Shouldn't have been wearing it. And so I thought this would be a great opportunity to try out bleach tie-dye. These are the supplies that you need. Also remember when you're using bleach, you want to make sure you're working on a surface that's protected and you're not wearing clothes you really like because chances are they could get ruined. All right, these are the supplies you need. You need your shirt. I'm using black. I don't know how it would work on colors, um, but for this I'm just going to be using black. You need bleach. So I'm just going to be using like a half cup bleach and a half cup water. So my water is already in here and then here's my bleach and I'll just mix them together. You need rubber bands. This is an important part of tie-dye, or you can just tie it together, but rubber bands work really well. I'm going to be using four. And you want to use rubber gloves when working with bleach, or you can just use tongs to like move your shirt around because you don't want to get it on your hands and you don't want to drip it. So maybe grab like a, a grocery bag or something you can put it in, like a bowl, to transport it to the washer or the dryer or the sink. Step number one, we have our shirt and we're going to just get it wet. Just make sure your shirt is completely wet. Okay, so I just got my shirt wet, just in the sink. I just kind of wrung it out a little bit so it's really damp. And now I'm gonna show you how to create the pinch swirl. So lay your shirt out, top to bottom, and then you wanna pinch the middle. Okay, this is what creates tight, and you could pinch the side wherever. You could pinch it down here. I'm just gonna pinch it maybe off center just a little bit. And then you want to start twisting it. And make sure you're grabbing both sides of the fabric. And just kind of twist. Make sure that stays in there. Twist. Okay, so you have this circle of fabric. And then you're gonna grab your rubber bands and secure it. I like to first just make an X and just kind of fix the sides if they're kind of moving around like this one. I wanna just tuck it under here. This one I might want to bring it this way more. So once you create your X, you want to bring two rubber bands here. Why does this remind me of like a British flag? I don't know. So once you have these rubber bands on, you are ready to add your bleach. And when we add the bleach, first we're going to mix the bleach with water, but when we add it, we're going to add it to every other part. So here, 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 and here. So we're going to kind of skip every other one. The next step is going to be adding your bleach. So make sure you are not on a surface you're worried about and not wearing clothes you're worried about because the bleach has a way of like spreading around. So I'm just using a, a sheet pan. And then we're gonna be mixing our bleach with our water. So it's about a half cup water, half cup bleach. You should put it in some kind of squirt bottle. Like these work really, really well, these whisk square bottles. We're going to be putting bleach every other triangle. All right, so I'm gonna start here. Okay, now very carefully, I'm gonna turn this over. And when I turn it over, I'm gonna kind of move it over here because I don't wanna just put it in the same puddle that these were in but I wanna remember the ones that I put the bleach in. So I'm just gonna remember this one right here. This has bleach. That's kind of the hardest part for me. It's just remembering where to do this. And I don't really want it sitting in a pile of bleach. So what I'm gonna do is just wipe this up and then move it into a different spot. Okay, here's the shirt. I'm just gonna start, I wanna say let it develop, but that's not the right word. We're just gonna let it start to bleach. And if you want it to be like a lighter faded bleach, then you could probably just stop it at any point you want. Okay, so this has been sitting for about 10 minutes and it's kind of to the point where I want to take the rubber bands off. I'm nervous about this side becoming just completely red because of the bleach just kind of seeped through. So now what you want to do is take it over to the sink and wash it out really, really well. And then you want to throw it in the washer machine and wash it. You want to make sure that bleach stops bleaching. And you can leave it on longer if you want it to be lighter. I just don't want it to bleach out all of my black parts. So let's move over to the sink. Carefully move it over to the sink so that you don't drip it on anything. And just start washing that bleach out. And then I'm dying to see what this looks like. I'm gonna take the rubber bands off and it looks sweet. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see this. Rinse it really well, and then again, just throw it in your washer machine if you have one. If you don't, just wash it with laundry detergent quickly, just to stop that bleach process. And then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So here is my before picture of my shirt. 
with a little bleach stain. And then here is after I added bleach and after I did it, the tie-dye bleach method. So it actually looks really cool. Okay, so it turns out that it was actually a little too cool for me. So it looked a lot like fire and I'm not really a fire kind of person. So I took this blue dye and this is royal blue dye and then I just sink dyed it for about 10 minutes and then I washed it again and it muted all the colors and I like them a lot better. I'm way more likely to wear this shirt. So you can dye it after you bleach it whatever color you want. You just have to think how it's gonna mix with the orange. And I could have made the blue um, more bright if I just would have left it in there for longer. So thank you so much for joining me today on Mr. Otter Studio. Remember, if you ruin a piece of your clothing, you can just upcycle it, change it, paint it, tie-dye it, bleach tie-dye it, and you have a whole new shirt and it's not ruined. Um, just be careful when you're using the bleach because it does tend to ruin things. And have a wonderful day. I would love to see what you make with this method. Post your images to Instagram using hashtag Mr. Otter Studio, bleach tie-dye, or just hashtag Mr. Otter Studio and I will see it. And have a wonderful day.